experience and experience the changing lives in anticipation for the power of God in our changing world to make a difference in the lives of people and nations. Pastor Dil Kumar continues to bring the message of God's love around the world with God confirming His word with immediate signs, wonders and miracles. As founder and senior pastor of King's Revival Church International, he teaches and ministers in the power of the Holy Spirit, the miracle moment healing and revival services and miracle school for healing and wholeness. Pastoring the church of thousands in the Middle East and across Asia, Africa and the subcontinent. Lives are touched and changed to make a difference in the community. With church planting, Bible schools and as author and speaker on radio networks and satellite television, the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ is taken beyond boundaries with orphanage for street kids and homes for the elders, feeding program for children in need. The love of God is spread and shared around the world. For more information on meetings in your area and ministry resources, please log on to our website, miraclesforyou.org. Pastor, this young man is called John, and he was crippled from birth. My Lord, yes, walk with me, 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 in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, come walk with me, walk with me, turn around, walk with me, in Jesus' name, 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 in Jesus' name. my God, hallelujah, you come to him, hallelujah, you come to Jesus today, hallelujah, you come to Jesus today, he loves you, hallelujah. Come to Jesus today. Alleluia. It is my great joy to greet all of our wonderful partners in the great King's Revival Church here in the great nation of Dubai. Your pastor, Bill Kumar, has just given me testimony after testimony of the wonderful things God is doing through you, our wonderful church believers here. Middle East, where it's a little difficult sometimes to be in church. But you're doing a great job, and the Lord is blessing you, and great signs, wonders, and miracles are happening, and I rejoice, rejoice, rejoice with you for all that God is doing through you and your great pastor, Pastor Bill Kumar. He is indeed an apostle of our Lord Jesus Christ, leading you and many, many nations of the world and the new depths of God's glory, love, and grace. So from all of us in America, God love you, we love you, and remember that everything that hath breath, keep on praising the Lord. This man came and worshipped him. He said he knew he's God. He said, Lord, if thou wilt, you can make me whole. You can make me whole. Lord, I'm here to receive what you want to give me. This is what he was asking. If thou wilt, that is why he put that word. If thou, because my will is for me to receive prosperity. My will is to have a good house and a good home and car and property. Oh, my, my 
beloved that is not prosperity beloved prosperity again I tell you write to those who have taught you or preached to you otherwise as your soul prospers thou shall prosper and be in health third John verse number two my loving children, my bill as your soul prospers, my soul prospers by his peace, my soul prospers by his forgiveness in my life, my soul prospers by his cleansing in my life, my soul prospers by his joy in my life, my soul prospers by his power in my life. Oh my beloved, that is prosperity. How many of you are learning today, my beloved? Some people have seven keys to prosperity. All is in one key, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, when the blood comes, Holy Spirit comes. When Holy Spirit comes, he takes from Jesus and gives it to us. John 16 verse 13. John 16 verse 15. Because all the Father has, has been given to Jesus. John 3 verse number 35. And Holy Spirit takes from Jesus and gives it over to us, my beloved. All that you and I need is to say, God, forgive this sinner by the blood you shed for me. Forgive me, Lord, by the blood you shed for me. Lord forgive me by the blood you shed for me cleanse me you must ask what God wants to give you don't ask what you want to receive that is what this man came to Jesus for if you understand in the Holy Spirit my beloved I pray the Holy Spirit will open your understanding to comprehend the scriptures Luke 24 verse number 45 the Bible says Jesus opened their understanding to understand the Holy Bible Jesus, my beloved, you and I may want so many things. Oh, but you and I must come to God and say, God, what I'm asking for is what you want to give me. I know you want to forgive my sin. I know you want to save me. I know you want to cleanse me. I know you want to make me your child. I know you want me to depend on you, God. I want your faith, God. Your faith makes me depend on you all the time. Oh, that's what you are. You may say, but I need money. You may say, but I need finances. You may say, but I need physical healing. You may say, nay, all that will be added unto you, my loving child. So this is what he said. Lord, if thou wilt, you can make me. My will comes behind. But thy will, you can make me whole. You can save me. You can cleanse me. You can heal me. You have all the power and the love because I know who you are. You are God. Therefore, when I come to you, I will not be put to shame. Oh, he was a leper dying, given up by everyone. The world hated him. The world rejected him. He had no money. He had no money. He had no personality. Even his whole body had shrunk and he was, the bones were falling apart. He was virtually dying the natural death. But he said, no, there is hope still. I will get to God. I will get to the God of love and compassion. I will get to the God of mercy and life. And I will say, God, I am ready to receive what you want to give me. If thy will, God. Making me whole comes behind. My healing, my peace, all what I need in life comes behind God. But it is your will, if thou wilt, if you give your will to me, your will to save me, your will to forgive me, your will to cleanse me, your will to cause me to rely on you, depend on you, your will to come away from all kinds of unholiness. Your will, God, to come out of this world and be totally separated unto you. Then God, you can make me whole. Jesus, the Bible says, he put his hand straight on him. Jesus, if you come and tell God, I'm ready to receive what you want me to receive, God. Again, I tell you, there may be people wanting to talk to me after a service like this. Jesus told me personally, my son, every time you minister and very few servants of God, very few servants of mine do this. Oh, the great extensive Damage is done to the defeated kingdom of hell. That is why your body gets physically so strained because it's the anointing and when God removes that special clothing of anointing, our weak body, our frail bodies, our feeble bodies come under a various pressures. People don't understand that, my beloved. My loving children talking to me for 20 minutes means nothing. 
but listening to the word that comes out of the mouth of this feeble man by the power of the Holy Spirit. Take every word that comes today, this morning and receive it into your heart and the word of God, not my prayer, not talking to a little man like me, but listening to the word of the living God and believing the word of the living God and receiving the word of the living God and trusting the word of the living God will set you free once and for all. He loves you, beloved. Of course, I'm there to talk to you. Of course, but never after a ministry like this, my beloved. Oh, I hope you understand, my loving children. The power of the Holy Spirit is descending already here. The power of the Holy Spirit is descending already. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. I want you to know that God will give you what you ask him in his will. God, what do you want me to have today? That's what you should ask. What do you, Lord, will say, my son, my daughter, I want you to receive my salvation today I want you to receive the power of my blood in your life today I want you to receive the Holy Spirit in fullness in your life today Oh my God, that is what he is asking us to ask him. That is why he is causing us to ask him. And all other things will be added unto you. Matthew 6 verse number 33. All other things will be added unto you. Seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness first. And all other things will be added unto you. How many of you believe he is going to bless you? Jesus put his hand immediately on him immediately on him because he said God it's not what I will but thou wilt Matthew Mark 14 verse 36 it's your will God Mark 14 verse 36 as he was kneeling down and as he was crying to the father as a man son of man perfect sinless son of man who came to take away all my sin and your sins and the sins of the whole world Mark 14 verse 36 he said nevertheless father not my will but thy will be done Thy will be done. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. His will is to forgive you and me. His will is to save you and me. His will is to cleanse you and me. His will is to empower you and me with the Holy Spirit. His will is to always be washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh my beloved. And all other things will be added unto you. It's not my will God. If you will, if it's, if it's your will, then I will be made whole. If it's your will, I will be made clean. If it's your will, I will be made whole. If it is your will, I will be made clean. If it is your will, I will be healed completely, God. Oh, don't go after the things of the world. Don't go after the things of the world. That is, at one time, Paul said, these things satisfied me, but not now. These things had a, had a, had gave some kind of solace to me. Something that you were involved with in your old life. Oh, some activity. But today, be a new person. 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 A new person. I'll only need the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Holy Spirit is all that I want. The power of the gospel is all that I want. The blood of Jesus is all that I want. That is the will of my Father. If that is what I want, don't ask God what you need to receive. Ask God what he wants to give you today, this morning. That is what this person has. Lord, if thou wilt, you can make me whole. Jesus put his hand on him. Oh, for a perfect blessed Jew, it's not proper to place the hand on a man plagued with leprosy. Oh, it was prohibited, punishable by law. My loving child, when you move in the love of God, Galatians 5, verse 22, 23, the fruit of the Spirit against such there is no law. My loving child, Jesus put his hand on him. He is here today to place his hand on everyone who is broken. He is here today by your side. Psalm 145 verse 18. Psalm 34 verse 18. He is going to lift those who are bowed down today. Psalm 113 verse 7 verse 8. He is here today. He loves you.
He loves you. Psalm 145 verse 14. He's going to lift you. He's going to lift you. Psalm 146 verse number 8. He's going to lift you. He's going to lift you. Psalm 113 verse 7 and 8. He's going to lift you. He's going to lift you. He's going to place you with him today. That is the will of God to lift you. That is the don't ask God's will. It is the will of God to lift you. Oh, I don't ask what I will, God. I want what you want to give me. I want, oh, my beloved Jesus is here today Jesus put his hand on him he was a leper he put his hand on him this is my will my son to put my hand on you is my will to love you is my will to bless you is my will to heal you is my will to forgive you is my will to cleanse you is my will to make you whole is my will to give you joy is my will is to give you peace is my will. You did not, uh, you were virtually dying. You were a helpless person. You were a rejected person. You were a lonely person. You were a person who was cast away by everyone. You didn't know what was going to happen tomorrow. Will they accept me? Will they receive me? Will my future be blessed? My loving children, so many questions you may be asking. What will happen to my future? What will happen, my loving child? It is not for you to be concerned. He cares for you. He he cares for you. The Holy Bible says, Psalm 55 verse 22 says, He cares for you. He cares for you. First Peter 5 7 says, He cares for you. He is going to take over every part of your life. He only says, God, your will to bless me, I receive. Your will to forgive me, I receive. Your will to save me, I receive. Your will to heal me, I receive. Your will to prosper me, I receive. It's your will, God. What you want to give me, I am ready to receive. How many of you are here today? The Bible says, immediately when Jesus put his hand on him and said, it is my will, be thou whole. The Holy Bible says, immediately, leprosy left him, my beloved. Immediately, leprosy left him instantly, beloved. And Jesus said, go and tell your priest, and make it a glory unto me. He is going to do it. There was a lady who came with all kinds of boils and whatnot in the miracle school. Instantly, the skin was made whole. I tell you, my beloved, everything we preach is Jesus Christ. He is here to manifest his same love. Oh, when someone has no one, when someone has no money, when someone has no provision for medicines, God will immediately come to that person, the most depressed person, the most denied person, the most deserving will receive the miracle immediately. My loving child, my blessed child, when you have people to comfort you, when you have people to support you, when you have money as an alternative, my dear, really it's difficult to receive the true manifestation of the living God. The moment you set your heart on Jesus, the moment you set your love on Jesus the moment you place your life in Jesus' hands and say God no matter how many people are around me no matter how many people are attached to me my Lord no matter how much of means I have you are my provider you are the very source of my life you are my life you are my peace you are my joy you are my salvation you are my healing you are my miracle you are my victory you are my redemption you are my wholeness. You are my eternity. You are my long life on this earth until rapture. You are my joy. You are my friend. Oh, my beloved. Immediately God will place your hand on you. My beloved, his hand on you. Even today, God is going to do it. Don't trust in a man. Don't trust in a person. But Jesus Christ, this man who was plagued by the defeated disease of leprosy, came to Jesus and said, God, I am ready to receive what you want to give me. So she could partially hear in both ears. If someone spoke slowly, she could not hear. Two days ago, she went to the doctor and the doctor has given her hearing aids. But she refused to use it. And today, when the word of knowledge came, she put her fingers in her ears and now she can hear clearly. You can hear clearly, child. Completely, you can hear well now, child. You refused what the doctor said. That's right.
Lift your hands to Jesus. And God opened every block in the years to go away. And God, because God honored her faith, Jesus honored your faith, child. Lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, for two weeks, she's been having stomach trouble. And during the service, as you said, that the Lord is healing stomach pain, the fire of God came upon her and she's completely healed. You're fine, child. You came with, with the pain you came, huh? It's all gone, child. Completely gone. Who healed you, my daughter? Who healed you? Can you bend down and show me? All the pain has gone, child. You felt the fire of God? You felt the fire of God come. And you're fine now, child. Who healed this dear girl? Harold. Harold. That's your name. Harold. God is touching you now. Pastor, this is Brother Harold. Before he came to church this morning, he prayed, God, that you touch my life. And you, when the word of knowledge came, you called his name. And he came to praise God. Harold. Your name is Harold, son. I never knew that his name is Harold or anything. My loving children. What did you feel like, son, when, the, when your name was called out? What did you feel inside, son? You had the peace or anything that came upon you, son. And you came asking God your name should be called. Who did this? He wanted this from the Lord Jesus. God calls you by name. Bless you, my son. Holy Spirit is Andrew. God is healing Andrew. Holy Spirit is here. Andrew, Andrew, God is healing you. She wants to thank God because she was very disturbed about her nephew, Andrew, who was very sick at home. Uh -huh. And the Lord called out that name today. You were so praying she for peace. that boy? Who is Andrew for you, child? And what was wrong with him? And you came praying for him, child? And that's how you heard the name call. Lift your hands to Jesus. Do you have the peace, daughter? Do you have the peace, child? Lift your hands to Jesus. God has dealt with him already now. Pastor, you had said that the Lord is healing somebody with a nasal blockage. She's the one, Pastor, and the Lord has healed her also of her headache and pain in the feet. Complete. A nasal block is gone, my daughter. And, you had a, and that's gone now. We came with a migraine. It's gone, child. And you, what, what did you have in your leg, leg? Pain in the feet. Now it's gone. You can move your feet also down, up and down. Feet is not like that. Feet is like this. Uh, all the pain is gone, child. Nasal block is gone. Headache is gone. Everything is gone. Who healed this dear girl? Pastor, my yes. brother came to church having pain on his hand, yeah? Where, son? Oh. But God has healed him. Completely, son. You can move it up and down. All the pain. Fingers also. Now it's okay, son. All the pains, everything, numbness, all gone. Who healed this dear son? Pastor, yes, daughter. Pastor, this dear lady yes, had son. hurt her hand and was unable to bend her elbow. My but Lord. But today the Lord is graciously Bless you. Her. Bless you, child. Can you move it down to uh, with me? I'm a good man. You can look at me like this. Down. Duck. Duck. Dick. Ah, everything okay? Pastor, one week suffering with fever and severe body pain. The all Lord the, healed her. My, all the pain. You can bend down, child. And up. By like this. All the pain gone. Bless you. Who healed this lovely girl? Pastor, yeah. this uh, sister, she had trouble with her feet. She was limping. But uh -huh. today the Lord has healed her. Bless you. You can move your leg, child. You can run on the stage. You can jump. All the pain has gone, child. Look at this beautiful, happy girl. Come, child. Pastor, this child was having trouble with her knee, uh -huh. but today the Lord has healed her. My Jesus, you can walk, my daughter. Just walk with me. Ah, you can walk with me. Oh, you feel fine. You can move the leg and all, my child. Oh, she, the dear father said they found it difficult to bring her. And the father's faith, come here, son. Your dad's faith. Your dad's faith and commitment to the Lord Jesus. For this dear daughter, for two months, she's been having a body ache mm -hmm. and also a swelling behind the ear. But this morning, it's gone completely. It's gone Even completely, the, child. Yeah, not there at all. Gone. The Even swelling the has gone completely, child. And the body pain's all gone. Up, down, exercise. Fine. My Lord, before I tell itself, you are doing Bless you, child. Who oh, healed this dear girl? Pastor, she had pain in her side for over a year and a half. Uh -huh. But today, she's completely healed. Where did you have the pain, child? For one year almost. Huh? More than one year. You can move like this. You can move like this. Uh -huh. Completely gone. Gone, child. For almost a year, who had it? More than a year. Who healed this dear girl? Jesus loves you.
my beloved people of God, we are so privileged to have a God who is a father to us. He is a father. It is his will. The Bible says, God says, beloved, as your soul prospers, may you prosper and be in health. That is the heart of God. And my dear ones, as you see these prayer requests, these are just a few that have come from all parts of the world. Many watch our Miracle Moments television programs. Oh, the tears and the agonies of the people. They write to me from all parts of the world. Everyone wants the love of God. Everyone wants the love of the Father, love of the Savior. And everyone wants miracles, healings, life in abundance. John 6, 23, John 14, verse 13. God will answer now. He will confirm his word with miracles now. Yes, loving Father, as you see these prayer requests, my God, I ask you humbly to lay your hands on every one of them, God. Loving Jesus, your compassion to flow on every one of these dear ones who wrote these prayer requests. Let their bodies be healed. Let their tears be wiped away. Lord Jesus, come by them and wipe away their tears. Wipe away their agony. Wipe away their sorrow. Remove every disease, Lord. Remove every sickness, Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let them receive life long life of abundance miracle life of abundance Holy Spirit come God come and heal them heal them deliver them deliver them God remove every burden remove every fear remove every sorrow let them have long life of abundance on this earth eternal in heaven do a miracle now God do a miracle now do a miracle now my father in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name God let their tears be wiped away let let them rise and walk in Jesus' name. Let the blind see in Jesus' name. Let the lame walk in Jesus' name. Let the deaf hear in Jesus' name. Let the dumb talk in Jesus' name. Let the dead rise in Jesus' name. Let everyone live in Jesus' name. Wipe away their tears, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. We thank you for being with us in this program of ours called Miracle Moments. I'm sure a loving and living God would have blessed, healed you and filled you with his great love, compassion and life in abundance. However, it is my humble privilege to introduce some of the very anointed books authored by Pastor Dill. Your miracle in the kingdom of God, true anointing and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ heals even now. Signs, wonders and miracles. DVDs and audio CDs are widely circulated in many parts of the world. Please get them and be sure you may receive your miracle life in abundance. To order these books, write to us on God's Love at MiraclesForYou.org. For more live messages and updates, please visit our website, MiraclesForYou.org. Watch us on our regular weekly Miracle Moments program. Jesus loves you forever.